Hello, this is Polytastic, and today I'm going to be showing you my first tutorial and first screen recorded video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick cat and mouse game in a programming, an easy programming software called Scratch. So I've got it saved here, but you can see um, the name of it here. It's if you if you just search in here, you know, Scratch. Press enter and up it comes scratch imagine program and share so you're loading into here um, I'm already signed in this is my account Binkin if you want to see anything I've made um, you might like some of my games and things so you want to press the create button and I recommend making your own account because then you can save things you make and also comment on people's projects and like them and can have your own account basically <laughs> um, so what we want here is I'm just going to name this um, let's call it uh, cat and mouse tutorial okay so here we are cat and mouse tutorial so first of all we're going to use these snippy delete scissors to just snip the cat's nose off and he'll go running away unhappy so we've deleted him so now we're going to choose I'm going to click on animals and because there are good cat and mouse in here which you can use for the game so first of all we want our cat so just double click on him and here he is just loading him right here so there he is let's just call him cat so there's your cat now you're going to press that once again and go into animals once more and scroll down until you find mouse so they're both kind of similar and they go together quite well I think um, they're good for this game so I'm just going to have a plain um, let's make it a nice I'm just gonna have a background like this it's very boring so let's make it blue okay there we go that's quite a nice background so I've also got to make just by using this shrink tool I'm just going to make the mouse a little bit smaller so this is going to be a one player game you're going to play as the little mousy so what we want is um, we want the mousy we're going to get the mousy to just follow where you move your um, computer your cursor mouse on the screen so wherever you move your cursor the mouse should follow so first of all we've got our backdrop and our sprites and we need this when green flag clicked so the green flag is basically what starts it so then we want when green flag qu clicked um, and then we want to go to this motion section um, and we want oh first of all we want to go in control we want to grab a forever this is called a loop a loop so a forever loop and then we want in there um, point towards mouse pointer and at the same time we want to go to mouse pointer so now if we press that he's forever just going to follow where we go Whee! so we can just drag him around <laughs> okay there we go so now what we want is we want in the cat uh, we want the cat to in um, if I clicked we want forever in there as well we want him to um, point towards, so he's basically chasing after the mouse, as cats do. So he's going to point towards the mouse, and he's also going to go to the mouse. But what's happening now is they're basically just instantly caught, like the mouse is riding on the cat at the moment. Uh, so we do not want that. We want the um, we want the cat to be going to the mouse, but how can we make the cat go slowly? What we need to do is we need to take away both of these, and we want to have well we still want it to point towards the mouse because we want him to be still walking towards the mouse, but we just want him to be forever moving. Just let's say five steps so he's just slowly following after the mouse Whoa. 
Hello, Kati. Wow. Okay, so that's so far what's happening. Um, but then again, the mouse is moving quite fast as well. So we're going to do the same thing in there, but the mouse is going to move 10 steps towards us this time. So the mouse moves faster than the cat, but we still got to have quite a challenge avoiding the cat. Okay, so um, what we want is then, when the cat... Well, we can just get rid of these here. Don't need them. So, in the cat, we're going to go to events. And here we want broadcast message 1. But we're going to press a new message. And that new message is going to be um, court. Mouse court. So, you can call this whatever you want. But basically, what it's telling everybody, this is... Like shouting out to all of these um, sprites, these are called sprites here, and to the backdrop as well. It's just shouting out to everybody, um, hello I've caught the mouse, so everybody knows that, and then everybody can do what they need to do when they get that call. So it's going to broadcast mouse court, but it's not just doing that anytime. It's doing that if it's touching, so this is in sensing, this is advanced touching mouse then it's going to broadcast mouse court so well it's not going to do anything at the moment so we can't tell but that's how it's going to work so here we want uh, when I receive mouse court oh we don't need that in this <laughs> here we want men, when broad, after it's broadcast that the mouse has been caught it's just going to hide because we're going to have a nice game over screen so everybody knows that you failed. Well, you might have not failed because you've probably been playing for a long time and you've succeeded. But here we want when I receive mouse court looks and it's going to hide in the looks. So now when the cat catches the mouse, they both disappear. And of course, when we press play again, now they're gone. So we need to press show. And now at the start of the game, when you press this, it will show. But um, also at the moment, they're just going, they're just going to come back to where the cat had already caught the mouse. So we need to make the cat come here. So let's put the cat at uh, minus. So at the start, we want this go to. So this is x going along here, and then y is going up. So in here you can see. So the cat's going to go to minus, and down here you can see where your mouse is. So let's say minus 170, uh, 50. So minus 170, and then for y, we're going to put in 50. And then in the mouse, we're going to do almost the same thing, except, except instead of doing minus 170, we're just going to do 170 and 50. So they're on the opposite sides of the screen. So now if we press play, here they are. So the mouse is trying to run away, and the mouse has been caught. We press play again, and they come out there. Okay, so now, now what we want is we want, um, we want to just get in the backdrop. We want a game over backdrop. So for that, we're going to paint a new backdrop, and I'm just going to do a really simple one, just black, and then I'm going to use the writing tool in marker. That looks nice and doomy. And I'm just going to write here, game over. Then I'm going to just make that nice and big. Okay, so now in the scripts. So, um, of course, all these are called scripts. So, because they're like the script, like in a play, you get told what to do when. So this is the script telling you what to do. Telling, like the backdrop script tells the backdrop what to do and when to do it. Okay, so... Backdrop, when you press the green flag to start the game, the backdrop is going to need to switch to the first backdrop, which is going to be called Gameplay, because that's when you're playing the game. So this is called Gameplay. Then the second one is called Game Over. Okay, so in the script for the backdrop, going to say at the start it needs to switch to gameplay but then 
when it receives that the mouse has been caught, this broadcast, remember earlier we did this here, then it's going to switch the backdrop to game over. Um, so, if we come here, so the cat's caught the mouse and this is what happens. So that's a very simple game. Um, and that's all I'm going to be showing you now. So there's a very simple game for you to make and hopefully you'll enjoy that. And you can always, I've not shown you this in the video, but you can always add more. You can add like, you could make it so that you get points the longer you stay without being caught or so the cat gets faster and faster and faster and speeds up after you. You can make, you can make anything happen. You can make it so that there are more and more cats come chasing after you or you have three lives or something but whatever you want and I'm just going to finish with a nice quick game of cat and mouse uh -uh. okay so I really hope you enjoyed that and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments section down below um, I really hope you enjoyed that my first screen recorded video and also my first scratch video um, nothing else to say, I don't think. So, goodbye and thank you for watching. This was from Polly Dusty.